And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Heimer Lux Control deck. We've played a couple of times already, but it's a fun one to play and we've been playing a lot of aggro recently. And so I wanted to throw a control deck into our lineup. Um, Heimerdinger is just a pretty ridiculous card, uh, how strong this thing is. And uh, we're pairing it with uh, Demacia to be able to get Prismatic Barrier, a three mana protection spell for the Heimerdinger. But then of course we also get Lux as another champion. Whenever we cast our six mana of spells, we get to create a final spark. So we can start uh, mowing down enemy units. Um, but yeah, it's a pretty fun one to play. And there's there's a few different versions of Heimerdinger that we've been playing recently, like uh, mostly with either Lux or Karma. Um, I'm not sure exactly which one I like more. I do, with the Karma version, I really like how you get Deny. I think Deny is pretty well positioned. Um, but we're gonna try. We're gonna try some more with uh, Lux with Demacia. All right, so we'll be playing nine matches over in ranked. Heimer Lux Control. And here we go. Okay. Playing against just all Demacia. So against an all Demacia deck, we actually we kind of want removal spells. I'm gonna keep I'm gonna keep Chump Wump Rummage combo. Because Chump Wump will make two Mushroom Clouds, then we'll spend one mana to rummage away those Mushroom Clouds. So basically for five mana, which we can split up, we have a 4-4 a four, four plus draw two cards. So that's a pretty good combo. Not sure if opponent... Disconnect or anything? They took their entire time. We'll go say hi to our Poro over here. Pet the Poro. So cute. I don't think... Yeah, I don't think you can do anything with the opponent's Poro. Yeah, I don't. I don't know what's going on over here. They like joined the match and then got disconnected or something. So Blade, you just won a game using Ezreal Elnux with a leveled up Ezreal, and you're on one health. Nice. All right. Well, obviously we didn't we didn't do anything. We're not marking this down as a victory or a match. Nothing happened there. We have 200 XP, though. But that's not going to be one of our nine. We're not going to be like, wow, look how good our deck is. We just won. You think Heimer's going to get Flash of Brilliance nerfed? I could see that. Flash of Brilliance plus Heimerdinger is a ridiculous combo. Those two together are super strong. All right, so we're facing aggro. Let's get rid of these two cards that cost a lot of mana. The pickpocket, like sometimes you hit them with pickpocket and it's and it's then it's okay, but it's still just I don't know. I mean, it can block the fearsome creatures at least. No one's the wiser. And that's a great start for us. That's what we were just having a problem with that playing our puff cap aggro. We played, you know, the one 
one toughness creature on turn one, and then it get, got thermogenic beamed on turn one multiple times, and it was a bummer. I did, Egrok. Yeah, I came up with a Hawktai name. Um, what do y'all think of, like, the other boards, you know, like, my, my opponent's playing, like, this, you know, the Noxus one. Do y'all think I should invest in getting the other boards, so, like, whenever we play, you know, like, a, a PNZ deck, we get the PNZ board, and we play a Demacia deck, we get the Demacia board, and so on. What's that you got there? So you made a deck around Professor Von Yip, and it's pretty fun. Not amazing, but better than I expected. Interesting. I'm, I don't even know what Professor Von Yip does, to be honest. Put on me mask, secure me tail, off the day. The sun's out, the crowd's ready. Let's rock it! Oh, it is a Reservoir on Yip gives plus two, plus two to any summoned one cost unit. Oh, yeah, okay, that card, okay. Yeah, I could see that working out pretty well. Let me show you what I can do. Hmm. This turn's gonna hurt. I still got three mana. Or at least they're empty-handed. We're down to nine. Eminently logical. All right, get to rummage away the mushroom clouds. That was a that was a good draw. Worked out pretty well. I'm just, <clears throat> just playing that as another blocker. Darn. I was going to say, speaking of good draws, but we have seven mana cost eight. So close. So close. I'll try anyone. Yeah, I mean, we should have this. Like, this is looking pretty good for us. We're just going to block those things. Block that thing. No, you. Shoot that thing. Wow. 
Heimerdinger is ridiculous. Just get so many free creatures. T-Hex. Okay, want to know. See, like the Ionia board. I haven't paid attention to him too much, to be honest. That Noxus one didn't impress me too much. I'll have to kind of take note of him whenever we look at him. They're kind of expensive. They're like, you know, almost $10 each. They're kind of expensive. Yeah, we had the Flash of Brilliance to keep going there. We had it all. Lux Karma. So Control Mirror. We'll have Turn 2 Secession. Yeah, we were plat yesterday. We got to Diamond today. Uh, we had eight game win streak between we won seven like we lost the first two with the rally deck and then we won seven in a row and then won our first one with the puff cap aggro and those eight in a row got us there. Just gonna play a bunch of three threes. Up. I'm saving the flash of brilliances till we maybe have uh, Heimerdinger because I that last turn you know like I basically any of these turn I could have gone flash and then flash and then Than the vanguard, but just kind of holding them. They cannot hide. Not right now. Uh, yeah, this game is is very free. Yeah, um, I'm not playing arena right now. No. Take from the rich, give to me. Um, Where there is life, there is hope. I should have just done this right away instead of playing the 3 2. What's up, yeah? Just got home from judging. How, how'd the judging go? Attack formation! Attack formation! Hey, BJJ TCG getting the sub from Yud. Thank you, Yud. Well, they do, they gave that thing tough. So my, my thing's gonna die anyway. I'm gonna try to detain this. Our first of the day. Thank you, Yud. All right, I feel like maybe I should just play this. Yuck. <laughs> Come on. Really? All right, 
right, Vladimir Rally. Strength and conviction. Try me, I dare you. Purify is pretty good. Choose the other one. Okay, let's go to my YouTube videos. Got to add thumbnails. Vladimir Rally. Save. Um. That looks pretty good for me. Hoping this works. now Buff cap aggro yeah it worked um puff cap aggro there we go save perfect yeah all right yeah so yeah yeah tried building puff cap deck um, we had one game where we got a, an awesome puff cap hit that helped us win. But for the most part, it, we were, we were just kind of too slow. Like the puff caps were just too slow. And so, um, you know, I was trying to take like the burn aggro that we had played and, and try to have puff caps finish games off, but it was a little too slow. And so I'm not sure if Lux Karma... I'm not sure if like maybe trying to go like a control route or like mid-range control trying to make a slower deck that plays more turns that can play be more defensive and have the puff caps do more over time i don't know or maybe maybe the puff caps just aren't strong enough i'm not sure but we were just a little too far behind in in a lot of our games All right, so another control mirror. Strength and grace, beauty. And I have seen these decks playing these these Laurent proteges recently. You call this a fight? And by recently, I mean today. Is this the Ionia board? Looks like it. That's it? Okay. Yeah, it's a nice board. The order rewards its fate. Hmm. All right, we're 
relying on Heimerdinger. But you could rely on worse things. What seems to be the problem? I guess we got Lux also to rely on. Everywhere I go, the light follows. You call this a fight? Uh, yeah, the, I don't, the detains were good the last match that we just played against Karma. We had to detain a couple of Karmas, but yeah, I do think the three detain is a little much. It does feel like it's a little much. could hurt. Yeah. My That's what I was saying. This could hurt. Should have just detained on the Heimerdinger, shouldn't I? play the 3-1, they get to play the, f the fleeting unit and kill it and do 3 damage to me, so there's just no reason for me to play it and take 3 damage. 3 otherwise unnecessary damage. I have them. Yeah, I don't like my chances. Anyway, hi. hey, non-genti. to play ooh flash of brilliance is good we can flash of brilliance then progress day that helps it does do 10 damage to me Don't determine themselves. 
They're at 11 for the Pursuit of Perfection. That even flip Heimerdinger. There we go. My path is clear. Round and round and round it goes. No suffering, so we may end it. So it looks like they got a bunch of six six life linkers. My wisdom is now my strength. Can't play more creatures. Darn. And we got enough. We got enough blockers. It's too late for you. Oh, I guess that makes sense. They just want to get rid of that thing to be able to play another creature. Step lightly. Makes sense. So we're at 15 for Catastrophe. So this should flip Lux. No, or it gets the nine. Shoot, shoot! That was years in the making. Oh no, that thing's gonna kill me. Right, that thing's gonna kill me. Um. So close to perfection. Hey, thanks, MC. Thank you so much. Yeah, I was. It happens, I suppose, but yeah. All right, so I needed to. Needed to block the 5-5, five, five, of course. Maybe probably just block the, with the 3-1. I would have taken 2 damage and gone down to 4. I feel like I could have maybe came back. I forgot about the final 
like their lux. I just kind of forgot about their lux there doing the extra damage. I guess I should have had my 3 1 block their 5 5. That's a close one, though. That was a close one. Yeah, we were close to the catastrophe. We were real close. I'm not, I'm not sure if I'm supposed to keep Lux or not. The answer is probably not. This hand's going to be really good for us, though. <clears throat> Drawing the two Flash of Brilliance is, is just perfect. Like, this, this hand is just kind of perfect now. Because we're going to do nothing this turn. But we'll just we'll save the we'll have the three mana banked now, and so now turn four we get to chump lump. I got ways to find me mushrooms. And now turn five we get to go crazy with Heimerdinger. Answers, I have them. Terrible card. Round and round and round it goes. Our random cards aren't really helping us out. My most groundbreaking invention to date. <laughs> I could flood I could flood the board with two more one drops. Shuffle like four Luxes into my deck. What does Lux turn into? A barrier? Dimensions don't determine themselves. We, yeah, we try. I mean, we tried to kill Lux earlier. We used removal on it. I just had barriers. A little hasty on that skitter. I'm glad they used it right now, and not on their turn. So I get to block with these three ones. Oh yeah, I could have attacked for a six in the air that last turn. That's true. Silly everything having vigilance. My axe is ready. Um <clears throat> Alright, gonna cast Progress Day. Three cards. Get a T-Hex. Flip Lux. Get a Final Spark. 
No, I have too many cards. I don't get a final spark. you believe I, uh, I... Okay. um I'll just do barrier yeah I think I just do barrier on on Lux Two mana one means I have six mana left. I guess we just do a two mana one. We're in this together. Yeah, I guess I could do double bit. That's true. I could just go bury over here also. Keep this T hex alive and kicking. Um, deal, kill an ally to deal damage equal to its power to anything. Um, well, it was fun while it lasted. Lux is taunting us? Come on, Lux, you're supposed to be on our side. All right, back to two and two. Uh, at least for a while, Kimmer. I think this is a better game than, than Magic, and so I'm playing this game instead. This game's really well put together. It's free to play. Um, it's very, very balanced, and it's just a lot of fun. I think it has a lot of upside also. It's only been out for about five weeks in the open beta, so I don't think it's hit its ceiling or anything like that. All right, we're going to cut back on Thermogenic Beam. Um, I think I'll just keep the rest of these. It's basically, do I want to get rid of Get Excited? Maybe I'll just keep Get Excited... I just keep both of these. Uh, we'll get ready to get excited. <laughs> get another one back. Yeah, the Darius, Darius um, atrocity combo. That is pretty nice. Three, three. I just don't really want to two for one myself by using Get Excited, at least not yet. Sharpen the blade, secure the kill. I'll cut them apart. That's a lot of damage. Ha! 
gosh. So much damage. All right, so now I'll use the get excited to kill the 5 1. Huh. Is this thing a burst? Does. So I can turn that into a 4 6. Hmm. Dimensions don't determine themselves. Round and round and round it goes. For glory, face me. Show them the might of Noxus. You're mine. Noxus! Noxus. Taking eight. Okay, cool. No, like, Brothers Bond or anything like that. Yeah, the Vladimir Rally deck was pretty sweet. Built two new decks for today, this morning. Vladimir Rally and Puff Cap Aggro. One did well, one didn't. But... That's all good. So I'm probably going to purify this 3-1 so I don't take 2 damage on their their turn during the whenever they're attacking the next turn. And we'll be discarding, we'll probably just be discarding like the standalone Radiant Strike to these Get Excited's. So that's 9, 10, 11, 12, 16. Put it down to 4. I guess it doesn't quite kill them. Puts them down to 4. And this does three damage, so I could put them down to one before they do damage to me. So close. One point of damage more. I need that. I would need one extra mana for that radiant strike. Oh, there we go. How about that? Heimerdinger aggro, more like it. Stop having this atrocity card. 
Okay, what is going on here? Um, they're just waving at me. Should I wave back? Perfect card. We had the perfect card. Talk about a close one, though. That was close. Game ended on, you know, like turn six. Don't expect the Heimerdinger deck to win that fast. Maybe it's turn seven. I don't know. Maybe it's turn eight, actually. All right, so we're playing against Heimer Karma Control. Let's get rid of this, get rid of this. Keep Chump Lumpers. Perfect. Also perfect. We got Turn five, Heimerdinger, double flash of brilliance. Now our best draw is a barrier. We want prismatic barrier. That's the best card to draw. Nope. Oh, I guess I'm gonna have too many cards in hand now, aren't I? Maybe I just don't even play the Chump Wumpers because I'm just gonna have too many cards in hand. That's sad. Silence as That's sad. So I, I should I should have mulliganed the chump bumpers then. Answers. I have them. Another Heimerdinger? Nothing but rotating mirrors. And projected lights. Oldest trick in the book. Guard. I need prismatic barrier. That's not a prismatic barrier either. All right, so we both killed the Heimerdingers, and we both got two turrets. Hey, Sanctuary Tank. My two random cards were pretty bad, though. I guess I get to rummage them away, I suppose. Because maybe I just want to cast all the Mushroom Clouds and just give them bunch of mushrooms let's see just play Lux the sun is shining we should too. don't really see why not I 
I'm not going to attack, let them block, take the barrier out, and then Thermogenic Beam, kill Lux. Um, sure, I guess. Yeah. Put on me mask, secure me tail, start to die. Yeah, I, I, you know, you're, you're right, Grave. Uh, Grave says, I'm surprised you attacked when they offered the turn pass. No, I, you're right. I should not have attacked. I should have taking the turn pass at that point. Hey, there was the thermogenic beam. Yeah, I should not have attacked with my 3-1. Order entropy, a never-ending cycle. Barrier. They have another Mystic Shot, which they do. That's all right. They got a lot of their stuff. Added to the bug list. We got this three one. Doing pretty good where we are. We're, we're basically five cards, five cards, if you don't count the Mushroom Clouds, but we have a 3-1 and two over five cards are progress days. Hmm. No, so they're, they're playing Heimer Karma. Thirteen mana. Lux then progress day is fourteen mana. What they discard? Another rummage and a twin disciplines. I could have maybe just like played the Heimerdinger and then played progress day and gotten T hacks and just played the T hacks. Could have just done that. Honestly, with how like this, how yeah, I probably should have just done that. <clears throat> Pre-combat. With how this game is longer... These puff caps are like, you know, like they're a real thing. A real underrated thing. Fill two spell mana. Wow, did you see that? Nope. Looks. We can do this. Okay. Barrier gone.
No, Kempunk Pickpocket doesn't always uh, go off reliably, no. So they do attack Lux. Plus one, plus zero on quick attack. I have the barrier for Lux. Maybe I just use a barrier here. We're in this together. Do have the backup locks. And just make sure we get this final spark. I don't I don't really see how I'm losing this to three cards. We seem really, really far ahead. very far ahead. Plus, basically every single card has a puff cap. So basically, every card they draw take a damage. Ooh, that one, they took three. I keep reading Kempunk Pickpocket as Chipmunk Pickpocket, and I like my version better. I like your version better too. Chipmunk Pickpocket is pretty cool. You're just like sitting on a. You're just like in a park, sitting on a bench beneath like some trees, and there's like an, an acorn that like falls down. You pick it up, and you're like, oh, look at this nice acorn. and then from behind you, the chipmunk pickpocket goes and steals it from you. And you're like, hey, how's my acorn? Do, 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 do. Yeah, here, I'll send it to you. Uh, Vladimir Rally. It's back. It's up on YouTube. There, there's the YouTube video for it, and it has the it has the deck list and everything down below, and code and all that kind of stuff. Let's try a different hand. That's better. You're welcome. Facing a lot of control mirrors. Silent as Yeah, the puff caps thrive against control, I agree. They cannot hide. That purify just wasn't really doing very much in this game, and so I just kinda got it out of my hand. It was it cost zero mana. Um because you know like we can only bank the three mana, which we were already gonna bank. So it cost zero mana, so I just got it out of the hand. late for you Shadow. 
Celica and Grimstar. Getting the gifted subs. Thank you, Kitty Dexterity, for gifting out some subs. And welcome to the channel, our brand new subscribers. Jewel Protector? Seems to be the problem. That was not expected. Jewel protector. Um, yeah, I guess it's just taken a while. I have it, it says that it's, it's still processing. The puff cap aggro. I'm I'm surprised it's still processing. I don't know if there's like some some problem with it or something. I don't know. Cause yeah, you'd think that by now it'd be finished, but it's not yet. I wonder what this opponent's doing with jeweled protector. Another Heimerdinger? Nothing but rotating mirrors and projected lights. All this trick in the It's playing big Heimerdinger. Looking good for us right now. About to make a T-Hex. Well, I guess uh, if I play Progress Day, actually, we don't have we don't have the space for T-Hex, do we? What you looking for? Another Heimerdinger? Nothing but rotating mirrors and projected lights. Oldest trick in the book. So we attack with all this stuff and kind of, yeah, I was going to say kind of incentivize them to play something else. All right, I guess they get the four drop. But I'm going to be able to kill their Heimerdinger. And get my own four drop. Yeah, so I liked the Vladimir Rally that we played earlier. Um, I've never played the Crimson Braum yet. That's going to be a, a new one that we're going to play up next. Um, so I'm, yeah, I'm not, I'm not sure with that deck to be honest. But I was pretty happy with the Vladimir Rally. Um, I just linked this for somebody else. So if you wanted, if you want to check out like the games and stuff, uh, it's up there on the YouTube channel right now. If you want to see how it played. They have five cards still. We 
are kind of like three cards besides all these mushroom clouds. Okay, you run Scar Mother in your version. Is Scar Mother the, the six drop? Because I think there's two of them in that Crimson Braum deck, but fro you call it Frozen Blood? That's a cool name. What a celebration! Back to work! Uh, no, haven't really come across monocolor decks. Um, looking for a daring escape. No. Even Shadow Isles. It's been a long time since I played against monocolor Shadow Isles. So basically, I just want to give them one. I want to give them puff caps. Two, I want to get those puff caps out of my hand. But like wrench bot, like I don't even think I'm gonna play this wrench bot, am I? Yeah, I am. We'll just go straight to combat with that. Walk softly, strike quickly. Cause they're at ten. We got six damage of burn in hand with these get excited. There's another point. Puff caps add up. I'm trying to feed my family. You call that they can't have, you know, deny. I think they are a deny color. They could have that. Oh, said so. Um, that doesn't seem like a great block. Possibly they didn't have a block that kept him alive anyway. Oh, that thing doesn't have trample? I thought it did. Doesn't this thing have overwhelm? No, it's just built over and on. Oh, I thought that thing had trample. Oh, well. Refreshment from a crossroads area. Take all these things. Draw more of those. All of things sad to me. <clears throat> we swim within the flow down to four men. mana. I can't imagine they're gonna have answers for both of these get excited at four mana. My path at one mana, probably not. At one mana, probably not. I'm just going to play them both. That's a jerk move. Victory! Okay, we're out of diamond four. On Diamond 3. <laughs> yeah, I basically just want them to use their mana and... Because and, we are already so far ahead. Like, they... The onus was on them to use mana to try to catch up. And whenever they did and tapped out, then... We couldn't get some symbols.
So no champion, Demacia, and Piltover and Zahn. I'm just going to like keep early removal spells, basically. Except for the get excited, you know, caught, makes us discard a card. So I'm going to just... Um, keep these removal spells. Maybe I should get rid of the progress day, but you know, my plan is kind of just, uh, you know, kill stuff and maybe save up mana and then turn five progress day with like the extra three extra mana. Chump lump. Such a good name. <clears throat> Boom crew. Whoa. Whoops. Sorry about that. Chair hit the desk. Just raise the desk up. Now chair does not hit desk. If you have exactly one ally, grant it plus... Plus three, plus three, eh? I was thinking this was going to kill this the next turn, but... Uh, it probably take a, Yeah, it takes a while to get from bronze to diamond, honestly. It's a... It's a slow game as far as ranking up goes, just because there's some, you know, so many ranks and everything. Once you hit, see, so like bronze, silver, gold, you do get more points for winning than you do losing. So like if you're just 500, you're leveling up. But once you get to platinum and diamond, each win is 20 points, each loss is 20 points. So if you win one, lose one, you gain nothing. So they have another one of those grant their ally plus three plus you know another standalone we have this to block it what's our name again I was wondering how that was going to work, if it was going to turn into the 4-1 or if it was going to turn into the 1-4. Yeah, it's basically, yeah, it's five wins, one, especially once you hit, once you hit platinum and it's, it's just the same as a win, you know, like one win you move up, one loss you move down. So then it's five wins. Um... So you need five more wins than losses to move up. If you're not in Platinum, if you're lower than that, then you, you do get more points for a win than you do a loss. Those Mystic Shots seemed pretty good. <clears throat> Correct, and that's just to change your number numeral inside the tier. Yeah, that's to go from, you know, like platinum four to platinum three, and then you have to win five more than you lose, and then platinum three to platinum two, and so on. So if you're winning like 60%, if you're going three and two for every five, you'd have to do that five times 
if you have a 60% win rate, you'd have to do that. You have to go three and two five times to level up one numeral. So that'd be 25 matches to level to level up one numeral. Order entropy, a never-ending cycle. This could be just not patient enough for me. Because they could have get excited, kill Heimerdinger. But it's not like if you're like coming from arena like me, it's not like arena like where it resets after a month. I don't know if or when it, it resets. Like maybe it resets whenever they put in a new uh, set. The only holiday maybe. But it's like once you reach you like one level, as long as you're playing, you're going to stay up there. But I guess people say that there's like some decay. Like if you don't play for like two weeks, then you like lose a rank or something like that. Yeah, Arrow, absolutely. Yeah, you can put a, a link to it here. Like if you just have the code, I, I can't really because I'm you know, playing here. But if you have like a, a link to the deck, like if it's on Mobile Addicts, I could take a look at it. So this is like a, a transformation deck. It's pretty interesting. What so what happens if I what happens if I purify this thing? Does it go back to the one one or is it just like the T hex now and so then purifying it will do nothing? Does anybody know? if I can purify it and turn it into a 1-1, one, one, I want to do that. Otherwise, I can detain it on, like, my 8-8 eight, eight, and then purify my 8-8. Eight, eight. Yeah, I'm kind of guessing nothing would change also. I'm... I kind of feel like it's just, like, this T-Hex 8-8 eight, eight now and that purify doesn't actually do anything on it. Okay. Once it changes, it is that card. It can't be reverted, so Purify would have done nothing. That makes sense. They're not really playing anything and passing with a whole lot of mana. So I can either purify this to get rid of the whole detain thing. Um, I also have a couple of barriers I can use for protection for it or for Heimerdinger. Right now, I'm not planning on casting anything before untapping. I'm going to keep this three mana available and... You know, if we don't need to play anything, I'm not playing anything. I'm not going to play, you know, like a, a Dauntless Vanguard or anything. Six and two, we're gonna be playing one more match. Playing seven matches or nine matches with each deck. And so yeah, each one is just is just twenty points. Each win, each loss. Uh, yeah, I think 
I mean, I just I've heard that it's the decay from plat up is like League of Legends. Like they it's they have they have it just the same system. That's what just people in chat have said. I haven't like read that anywhere from Riot or anything. Let's get it. Let's keep a barrier. No. This Demacia board's pretty cool. Just passing, it's... Maybe I should just be letting them pass and letting them waste all that mana. Sweet. So maybe that was a little greedy for me to play the 3-3, three, three, but it worked out. Got an extra 3-3 three, three in here. They whiffed on Wraithcaller? So they gotta have Rally or the 3 mana 3 3 or the 5 mana 5 5. Darn, they didn't whiff again. They probably have like some black spears and stuff like that. They may have just like two black spears and they'll just finish off my other two creatures. Uh, or Mark of the Isles. It's same kind of thing. They're down to eight. I start giving them these mushroom clouds. We can play a longer game. I hope they draw those puff caps. For the fallen. So each one of these damage matters. They're down to eight. Ooh, take two. There we go. Down to six. Didn't draw any puff caps. So get this puff cap two. Attack formation. So I think we got this. We can probably have them. Tap out though. I missed on Wraith Caller again. I don't know like what kind of life game they would be playing. 
I'm, I'm, I honestly just, I don't know how they stop this Get Excited. Oh, uh, Grasp of the Undying. Yeah, that could be it. about to get their Hecarim back and decided to just go for it. All right, so a good seven and two for Heimer Lux Control. Definitely felt like a strong deck. Um, I liked those those Dauntless, uh, uh, yeah, those Dauntless Vanguards, the Secessions. Those played pretty well multiple times. Being able to play these on turn two was really nice. Um, Flash of Brilliance, of course, was awesome. Purify overperformed. There's a lot of a lot of people like you know pumping up their creatures these days. Purify really overperformed. Um, I kind of want to get the third Purify back in there. I was thinking that uh, three Detain may be too many, but actually Detain actually played performed pretty well too for us surprisingly well but i think moving forward i want to get the third purify in but i'm not exactly sure where or how to fit it in uh, it could be for one of these chempunk pickpockets that could just be like a two of that could be it i don't know but yeah like there's like a lot of like ionia decks that are like pumping up their creatures and all that kind of stuff um but Lux was great. Heimerdinger, of course, is just absolutely insane. Um, but yeah, Secession did look really good. Giving the deck something early. 3-3. Uh, three, three. Good body. <clears throat> Alright, so there we go. There's Heimer Lux Control. I could see taking out a Progress Day, honestly. I could see just playing playing two of these. Um, there's a lot of games like where it's just kind of like in our hand later on. Like it's It's good, but we probably don't need all three. We could probably just play two and play another Purify over one of them. That, that could definitely happen. Oh, there we go. There's Heimer Lux Control. Uh, you know, good. Um, you know, good safe deck to be playing these days. Hey, Team Mellow. All right, those of y'all watching on YouTube, hit the like button for the video. I'd really appreciate that. And, uh, you know, feel free to leave the comments. Uh, if we're going to take out the, or if we're going to put in another Purify, what card do you think we should take out of here to fit it in? Do you think it should just be the Progress Day where I'm kind of leaning or anything else? Let me know in the comment section there on YouTube. All right, but thank you so much for watching some Heimer Lux Control, and I'll see you for the next video.